Black Start Capable Plant is very essential for any power system as it helps in restoring the power system after blackout. These plants are specifically designed to restart and restore the electrical grid after a total or partial blackout. They possess certain characteristics that make them suitable for this critical task. Here are the key characteristics of Black Start Capable Power Plants. Startup Time Black Start Capable Power Plants have the ability to start up quickly typically within a short period of time after the blackout event. The startup time can vary depending on the specific plant design and technology used, but it is generally faster compared to conventional power plants. Startup Power Requirement Black start capable power plants typically have low startup power requirement due to low auxiliary power consumption. This helps in reducing the size of auxiliary power supply requirement system including diesel generators or battery bank. Ramp Rate these power plants have a high ramp rate, which refers to their ability to quickly increase or their power output. The ramp rate allows them to respond rapidly to changing grid conditions and demands during the restoration process. Size Black Start capable power plants come in various sizes. Depending on the specific requirements of the electrical grid, they are intended to support. They typically have both real power, measured in Jordan megawatts, W, and reactive power, measured in megavolt amperes reactive, VAR capacity. The size of the power plant is determined based on the anticipated load demand during the restoration phase. On-site fuel supply, these power plants often have on-site fuel supplies, such as water, diesel, natural gas, or other backup fuel sources. This on-site fuel supply ensures that the power plant can operate independently of external fuel sources during the restoration process. Frequency Characteristics Black Start capable power plants are designed to have stable frequency characteristics and the ability to operate during frequency excursions. Maintain grid frequency within acceptable limits and adjust their power output to match the system demand as it stabilizes after the blackout. Inertia Inertia is the ability of a power plant to provide stability to the grid frequency during sudden load changes. Black Start capable power plants are typically equipped with synchronous generators that have a high level of inertia. inertia. This inertia helps to stabilize the system frequency and prevent large frequency deviations during the restoration process. Location Black Start capable power plants are strategically located in different regions of the electrical grid to ensure efficient coverage and support in case of a blackout. They are typically spread out geographically to put adequate coverage and minimize transmission constraints during grid restoration. It's important to note that the specific characteristics of Black Start capable power plants can vary depending on the technology grid requirements, and regional considerations. Now let us study the various types of plants and their black start capability. Hydropower plants are widely regarded as the optimal choice for black start capable resources due to several key factors. Firstly, they possess the advantage of rapid startup times, allowing them to initiate power generation swiftly, which is essential for expeditious grid restoration. By harnessing the force of water flow and activating the turbines, Hydro plants can promptly generate electricity. Moreover, hydro power plants exhibit minimal auxiliary consumption, enabling them to be initiated using a diesel generator set or battery bank. This feature enhances their reliability during black start op operations. Additionally, these plants possess the capability to swiftly adjust their power output by controlling the water flow. This agility allows them to adapt promptly to varying grid conditions and demands throughout the restoration process. The considerable size of hydro power plants, coupled with their substantial real power capacity, makes them a significant amount of electricity. Consequently, they can effectively support the restoration process of the grid. Furthermore, hydro plants utilize the stored potential energy of water as their on-site fuel supply, eliminating dependence on external fuel sources during restoration. An inherent advantage of hydro power plants is their ability to provide excellent frequency stability and inertia. This stems from the rotating mass of their turbines and generators, which aids in stabilizing the system frequency during the restoration phase. Overall, the combination of quick startup, high power output, on-site fuel supply, and frequency stabilization renders hydro power plants as highly effective Black Star capable resources. Gas power plants are considered as the second best choice for Black Star capable resources due to several key factors. One of their strengths is their quick startup time allowing gas power plants to initiate electricity generation relatively swiftly during the grid restoration process. Gas power plants possess a high ramp rate, 
enabling them to adjust their power output rapidly to align with the evolving grid conditions and demands. Gas power plants exhibit flexibility in operation as they can utilize various fuels, such as natural gas and liquid fuels. This adaptability ensures their reliability in different fuel availability scenarios, making them well suited for black start capability. The size and capacity of gas power plants are variable, ranging from smaller units to large combined cycle plants. This versatility in size enables them to meet the power demand requirements during grid restoration effectively. Moreover, gas power plants are gas power plants equipped with synchronous generators contribute to frequency stability and inertia, aiding in stabilizing the grid throughout the restoration process. In summary, gas power plants quick startup time, high ramp rate, fuel flexibility, size adaptability, and ability to provide frequency stability and inertia make them a valuable resource for black stability. Certain renewable energy technologies can serve as black star capable plants. These include battery energy storage systems, BES, which store excess energy and release it quickly to start up the grid after a blackout, offering grid stabilization during the restoration process. Pumped hydro storage, PHS, facilities these can act as black star capable plants by storing energy through water pumping and releasing it via turbines during restoration. Concentrated solar power, CSP, plants with thermal energy storage use systems like molten salt to store thermal energy and generate electricity during black start scenarios. Geothermal power plants, which tap into the Earth's heat, provide stable and continuous power generation, making them suitable for black start capability in geothermal rich regions. Implementing renewable sources as black star capable plants requires system design considerations and integration of energy storage technologies while feasibility depends on factors such as local resources, grid requirements, technological advancements. It's important to consider that the selection of Black Star capable power plants depends on various factors, including the specific requirements and conditions of the grid, availability of resources, and regional considerations. Thermal and nuclear power plants are typically not considered suitable for Black Star capability due to, due to various reasons. Firstly, they have longer startup times compared to other types of power plants, requiring extensive preparation and system checks before electricity generation can begin. Additionally, thermal and nuclear power plants often have slower ramp rates, meaning they are slower to adjust power output in response to sudden changes in demand or grid conditions. The complexity and safety considerations associated with these plants pose challenges in coordinating their startup with the synchronization of the entire power system during black start operations. Moreover, thermal power plants rely on continuous fuel supply, which may be disrupted during a blackout, while nuclear power plants have complex consuming startup and shutdown processes. Furthermore, thermal and nuclear power plants require a stable and synchronized grid connection to operate efficiently, making it difficult for them to independently start up and stabilize the grid during a blackout. Despite their limitations as black star capable plants, Thermal and nuclear power plants still have crucial role base load power in ensuring long-term grid stability once the power system has been restored by other black star capable resources. While wind and solar energy power plants are not commonly utilized as black star capable power plants for several reasons. Firstly, their intermittent nature relies on weather conditions, making them unable to generate, ele unable to generate electricity during a blackout without an external power source. Secondly, these power plants lack the inherent inertia provided by traditional synchronous generators, which is crucial for stabilizing grid frequency during black start operations. Additionally, wind and solar power plants have limited on-site energy storage capacity, and implementing the scale and duration of storage required for black start capability can be challenging and costly. Lastly, these power plants require a stable grid connection to operate efficiently, making it difficult for them to independently start up and synchronize with the grid during a blackout. In this animation, it can be observed how black start capable power plants can help in power system restoration. Black start capable power plant after self-starting charges the cranking path and helps in first meeting the auxiliary power requirement of large power plants like thermal and nuclear. This helps in the creation of large islands and picking up of good amount of loads in near of loads in near vicinity. Proper planning of black start capable plant in the power system is essential as it will help in creation of various such islands during restoration. Multiple islands also help in quicker restoration. These islands are then synchronized as predefined locations through synchroscope or synchro check relay. 
with this large shunt is formed which is more stable and robust and able to have better voltage and frequency control.